Hi you guys, it's Karen with Love Your Land. And uh, it is zucchini day here at my house. Um, I probably should have gotten this all organized before I turned that on. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about big zucchinis because um, in every other year of my life, I've been like super hyper vigilant about picking my zucchinis every single day because I was just terrified that they, God forbid, would get this big. And um, so this year, I've been, I, I accidentally let one get this big and then I started to deal with it and I was like, there's some benefits. So I'm going to tell you the benefits of, you know, during the summer, I know you're going out there and you're picking them every day and you're having steamed zucchini every night and, but at some point you might get tired of it. So there's a thing. Um, so it, it's okay to let them get this big. And here's why. There's a few things. First of all, the inside, I don't really need to hold on to you while I say this. The inside of the zucchini, like the flesh of the zucchini, is just as good. I mean, it's the same, not just as good. It's the same as if they're little. There are some changes though that take place. So um, the first thing is your zucchini is going to suddenly have this giant seed pocket, like a pumpkin inside of it. And you might not want to eat that, but that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. It's actually the main point of this video. Um, but the other, so they're going to have, that's going to be a change is that they are going to have these seeds inside. But again, this part, exactly the same, same texture. You can steam it. You can mush it up or I don't know, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, shred it and freeze it, shred it and make zucchini fritters. The list is endless, make bread. Um, but there are benefits of them getting this big. And here are the benefits. These guys, you, I know you can't see them all, but there's, um, you remember the other day, a couple, actually it was like two weeks ago or something like that, two and a half weeks ago, I took a picture and posted it on my Love Your Land page on Facebook of all these zucchinis in this basket. And I was like, oh dear, I thought the plant was done. So I wasn't even checking it. And I went out and I was like, Okay, so um, that was like two weeks ago. So the main first number one benefit of giant zucchinis versus little zucchinis, giant zucchinis have a way longer shelf life. Like these guys, n there isn't one soft spot on any of them. They're just, that was probably loud, sorry. They're just as you know firm as can be and they're just exactly how they're supposed to be. And they they stay like that. If I had a little zucchini and I left it on the counter, by like seven o'clock tonight, it would be shriveled up and weird. So way longer shelf life. Um, the other thing is, so this one that I've already shredded a little bit of it, actually I haven't, it's right here. Um, I just picked this one today. I can, and this one I picked two and a half weeks ago. I, you, you're not gonna be able to see it from there, but I'm gonna just tell you, just take my word for it. This one has uh, like all, t it's, covered in little water droplets all over it. It's a very moist vegetable. There's a lot of moisture still in here. These guys that I picked two weeks ago or three or whatever it was, um, I don't know how this happens, so don't ask me because I have no idea. It's kind of curious actually, but they tend to lose moisture. I don't know how since they're all contained, but I mean, I guess eventually they for sure would, but, um, but even just after a couple weeks, they lose some of the moisture that is in them when you first pick them. So why is that good? It's not dry by any means. This is still like, you know, there's still moisture in there, but it's nothing like the one I picked today. The reason that's good is that any of you who make zucchini bread or um, veggie burgers, like quinoa burgers, where you add zucchini, you know, any of those things where you shred zucchini and add it to whatever, bread, whatever, um, you know that you have to get all that water out and you're like wringing it and wringing it and wringing it there's a lot less of that work with these bigger ones. There's a lot less water, a lot less moisture. So those are some of the benefits. The, uh, the other obvious benefit that I'm about to forget to mention is that when they get this big, then they have seeds that are, um, that you can harvest and keep and store for next year. So you have like, you know, this one, this one zucchini has, I, I don't know, probably hundreds and hundreds of seeds in it. And um, there's some right here. I'm going to be able to take these little guys and dry them out and save them and next year plant them free food. I mean, I hate to say free food because there's still water involved or whatever, but you get my point. Okay, so 
that's the that's the the I just wanted to, de to defend big zucchinis because there's they're really okay. Remember, what, I just want to recap the benefits. Way longer shelf life, way longer. Probably you could leave them on the counter on the table for a month. I would guess. Um, the other thing is they're they're just as good. It's the flesh is just as good. Um, you have less moisture in the zucchini for when you're using it to bake or cook with. And you also have mature seeds that you can then harvest, save, store, and use next year. Okay, so that's my lecture on that. Now, here's my tip on, on um, cutting these guys up and storing or and using them, whether you're gonna shred it and freeze it or shred it and make zucchini fritters right now, like I am. Um, I learned the other day when I was making my zucchini fritters that I don't actually like seeds in my zucchini fritters. They, they don't taste bad at all. They're, they're good actually, but they kind of, it's like, it's like somebody put pumpkin seeds in your fritter and you know, they're kind of conflicts with the sour cream action. So I didn't appreciate the seeds in there. And, and, and if you don't want seeds in yours either, pay attention here. Cause this is a good tip. Um, also, if you're going to save your seeds, you're going to want to pay attention to this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a section. I would have cut this off camera so that it won't be so awkward right now, but I'm doing it on camera so that if I didn't show you, then you wouldn't know how hard this is going to be to cut. Um, that is one downside is that it is a lot harder to cut these when they're this big <laughs> than, than when they're little. But you can kind of rock your knife in there and then eventually it'll go for you. So cut a piece. Whoa. Now, what I would do is I probably, look, I have props. This say I had this section, okay, that I just cut off. What I was doing the other day when I was making my fritters is I was just taking this and then I cut it down the middle and all of a sudden, where'd the seeds go? They're like invisible. And I can tell you can't see from here there, I know, but I've chopped every seed that's on the surface here, I've chopped in half. So if I wanted to save these seeds, that's out. I just ruined my seeds. And now when I go like this, you, <laughs> it's, I don't know what happens. It's like a magic trick, a zucchini magic trick. But the seeds are, they are, they like, retract and hide. I don't know what happens, but anyway, so cut a section like this. Okay. I, I magically only cut one here on this surface area in half, but I did. Now, instead of just going like this and cutting it, don't do that. Take a littler knife. I was doing this, what I'm about to show you with this knife earlier, and I several times almost lost a hand. So use a tiny knife. You'll have a lot more control. Now you're going to cut through here, but just down to where this circle of seed goodness starts. You're not going to cut through the seeds. So just use your knife, your little knife to kind of mostly cut to that part to the center. And then if you need to, then you can take your bigger knife. Don't have kids do this. Seriously. It's, zucchinis are like unpredictable when you're cutting into them. It's my daughter was like, you want me to do that for you? Cause I have a problem with my arm and I'm like, no, nope. I will much rather have to deal with an ice pack later than taking you to the emergency room right now. Now, look, I didn't cut any seeds in half. And this is a really good one. Um, now I have all these seeds here that I can just easily pull off and clean them up, dry them up, store them, use them next year. Um, I, I, I doubt any of you will do this stupid thing I did, but I'm just going to forewarn you. When I did the zucchini fritters, whenever that was, um, I have to wash my hands off. I, I realized halfway through, ah, oh, I don't want all these seeds in here. So I was trying to pick them out and I did. I picked out like most of them once I did a batch of zucchini fritters and I was like, I don't want these seeds in my thing. So I was trying to pick them out of here. Take a little extra time to, to go ahead and get these out. Just, you know, like carving a pumpkin. So the tip there was don't cut all the way through in sections because you're going to cut through your seeds. They're not going to be usable and you're not going to be able to find them because they're going to, I don't know. You tell me where it went. I have no idea. I mean, this happened over and over and that's why they kept ending up in my bowl of shredded zucchini. So, um, there. The whole seed pocket just came out. Ta-da. So that's your tip, your zucchini tip. This has been Zucchini Talk. Just kidding. Um, that's your zucchini talk, 
talk. That's your zucchini tip for the day. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And I hope this was helpful to you. Um, I know, and I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I know some of the things that all of us YouTubers do, um, make videos of, may seem elementary to some of you. But just remember, I went 45 years without knowing that if I just didn't cut all the way through, I could just save all those seeds and not have seeds in my fritters. And so that's all I do videos on are things that like I did not know that. And I'm like, wow, everybody needs to make sure they know this. So that's it. I hope it was helpful. And I hope, like I said, I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you on Facebook. See ya.